Shiv is in fact also joining us, my colleague Shiv Arur, uh, with the very latest. Uh, Shiv, uh, first of all, these pictures are just so clear and, and just so stunning, isn't it? Just talk to us about this very moment that uh, Istro has so beautifully captured. You know, I can tell you, Sneha, that the levels of anticipation for these images have probably even surpassed, uh, you know, images of the Dutch town because uh, uh, it, that there's something so incredible about seeing, you know, this little wagon in motion rolling down that, uh, that you know, that trap door uh, on the Wickham lander and touching the moon surface. Uh, you know, every every frame in this beautiful video mm -hmm. that's been put out by Isro. Uh, you know, captures a little bit of history. Uh, you know, and as we're depicting so clearly here on our screen, uh, uh, you know, every part of the construction of the Pragyan rover carries a little bit of history. The ISRO logo, you've got the Ashok symbol, uh, uh, you know, all, you know, all those elements are in place. But the science and the technology that goes into the Pragyan rover, uh, uh, you know, is, a, is, a, is, a, is also a, a resonant of India's own audacity in space. Remember that, uh, you know, there has been soft landing before on the moon, uh, uh, Sneha. This is the first on the south pole of the moon, too. Uh, nobody has done, uh, you know, a rover of this kind after a soft landing, apart from the, uh, uh, you know, apart from the United States. Uh, and on the moon, this particular rover uh, not only carries instruments that will carry out experiments uh, uh, of the kind that have never been done, and they will benefit space programs, uh, not just of ISRO, but around the world, uh, but it's going to be looking at things like helium, uh, the presence of uh, water, ice, crystals, uh, you know, the presence of other minerals. Uh, so these are these are these are things that go way beyond just ISRO and India. These are going to be beneficial for humanity. They will fuel the next uh, you know space programs wherever they are. Uh, but uh, you know, let's talk about in these pictures. You can actually tell, you know, how. how like a remote controlled buggy. It's just about 20 in weight, a tiny little thing, six wheels, uh, you know, system uh, that is uh, specifically constructed to make uh, it carries, uh, uh, you know, it packs a punch. It's a small little thing, cute little thing, but it carries, an, uh, you know, uh, you know, a, a panoramic camera. It carries antennae and uh, electronic systems to be able to communicate back with the Vikram lander. Uh, you know, it has uh, sensors and systems and a drill as well, uh, uh, as well as robotic arms to be able to pick up samples uh, to analyze them for information back to Earth. So this is a small little remote controlled car that's going to be controlled, uh, you know, from Bengaluru by the men and women of Isro. Uh, but this this thing is is a beast. It's a small little beast. It's going to be doing things that have never been done before. And in the inside the Pragyan rover stand the hopes and dreams of uh, you know astronomers, physicists, uh, yeah, you know space scientists the world over. Because you know, and this bears constant repeating. Nobody has ever landed before this on the South Pole region of the moon, which means that the levels of excitement over every piece of data that's going to be beamed back by the Pragyan rover is going to be waited for with bated breath, not just in Bengaluru, but in observatories, laboratories, universities, you know, physics centers, research laboratories, everywhere in the world, because this is literally the discovery of the new. What is there in the south polar regions of the moon? Nobody knows. Everybody has only conjectured. And it is in the hands of six little wheels, 26 kilograms of Indian science, 100% Indian science that the world is going to benefit from. Even that uh, uh, Professor Sivan was speaking with us, uh, Shiv, he did say that this is raw data that's going to be relayed back to the ISTOS command center. And it's going to be weeks and months really before we can make any sense of it, analyze it uh, for days and weeks together. And that's when we'll get some information. And that's going to be a while before we get some information. Very true. And the, the, the reason for that is because uh, the analysis of something completely new takes a lot of time. You know, raw, raw data means... Uh, you know, video footage, uh, 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 you know, probably chemical analysis of what the, the, the rover is actually looking at in terms of minerals, helium, etc. Uh, uh, these, are, these are extremely complex pieces of data, also from a place that has never, literally never been, uh, you know, seen or, or experienced by humans and scientists before. So they've got to be very careful. They need to move very slowly. Uh, the, you know, the way space programs and space science uh, is constructed across the world, uh, Sneha, as you know, is that 
No single space agency does these things alone. They're always highly collaborative efforts. Uh, you know, there are the, 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 there is the, 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 the Russians, the Americans, uh, the Japanese, the Europeans. Uh, all of them have something to contribute and benefit from this. Uh, they will, uh, you know, make available their research and analysis resources and laboratories uh, to look at these samples, look at this data, uh, you know, add muscle to the to the number crunching and the analysis effort uh, in order to uh, not only make a much more accurate picture of what the Indian Pragyan rover has actually discovered on the South Pole of the Moon, uh, but also, uh, you know, figure out whether there's more it can do in this very short time window. Uh, Case Seven, sir, is extremely, uh, you know, it, what, one of the things he said was extremely important. 14 days uh, is a, an extremely short time. It's a mm. blink of an eye. Mm. It takes far longer than that sometimes to analyze even small pieces of data. And that's the reason why the Pragyan is, uh, you know, has a, a great deal of pressure on it. Scientists of ISRO who've actually executed history have a great deal of pressure on them now to collect as much information because it's not just ISRO. The world is waiting for Pragyan's data. The world is waiting to see what yes, Pragyan sure. is beaming back to India and to analyze it. All right. Shiv, I'm going to thank you for the moment for joining us. Uh, with that, and to tell our viewers, as beautiful as it is, these pictures, in fact, are clear and uh, stunning. And what's... Uh, even more beautiful is the very fact that India's imprint is in fact on the lunar surface of the moon that you see on your screens right now on the extreme left side is the ISRO logo and there is the Ashok lion symbol there as well and guess what that imprint is in fact on the lunar surface of the moon.